he real was he was in the in the in the fold early. He when he was fourteen, he and I was in the same breakdance crew, the L A B boys. However, he was he was much of a rolling stone at that time. Like he'll sleep on one of the homies' couches or in the garage of somebody else's house the next day, right? And he was like a traveling man who hated to go home because he lived so far. And he and he didn't have a car. So he would stay in, in our in our surrounding neighborhood, um, from you know, from house to house. So it was it was when I, I decided to really do this for real, I got into a beef with the breakdance crew and I went up to the high school where they were chilling and I snagged Be Real and I said, Come on, dog, we're gonna go do this shit for real. Fuck these fake dudes. And um, and I said, if anybody want to step up, let's go right now. What's up? I'm taking him with me. And I saw a lot of potential in him. And at the time, he wasn't like a very popular kid, but he was a, a nice kid, and he was he was half Cuban. And I'm, I was Cuban, so I'm like, I'm taking him with me. And um, I took him back on the block, and he met Ten Dog. I believe that was 1980, 84-ish in there, 1984, and and he he and Sendog hit it off right away, even more more so than he and I, yeah. and he became like, I was very headstrong, so Sendog, as my older brother, couldn't really tell me what to do, but he kind of took to be real, because B was really, young. he's younger than both of us, and he would listen to Sen like an OG almost. So that's how B comes into that fold. At that time, his name was Chili Chill. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now, that's what I I'm talking that. about, right? That's, you see, so so he, uh, he, you already had your, your thing going, you know what I'm saying, and him and Sendog kind of hit it off, and then they eventually formed wow. Cypress Hill. Were you originally going to be part of Cypress Hill, too, or? I think it's worth I think it's worth saying at this juncture that my father had kicked me out of the house for not holding a job. So I was living at the hood house where all the you know, all the parties took place and whatnot. So I had to do something. I had to I had to man up first early, before my brother send off. I had to yeah. find something to do before him. That's the only reason why I came out before them. Because I was really just trying to get back in my father's good graces, try to get back in the house. And and lo and behold, Delicious Vinyl loved what I was doing. Then I brought Cypress. Well, at that time they was called. This is after when we after we had DBX though, and, and they were already calling themselves the uh, the Cypress Tribe. And then we had a period where it was the Funky Cypress Hillsters. We had a period there where it was that. But I believe this was during the, the, the Cypress Tribe era. And, and we remember that when Tribe Called Quest came out, we were like, oh, no, they're biting the name. They're biting the name, you know? It was crazy because we never even knew them. It was like they're from a whole different state. How did they even know about us? We haven't even made a record yet. But um, it was in that same time period, my father kicks me out, so I had to do for self. That's the only reason why I had to leave the group, because at that particular time, Be Real had gone off to go gangbang in the hood, and Scent Dog wasn't ready because he was more busy trying to please my father at that time, so he held down a job. That's the only reason why I'm I'm not in Cypress Hill today. 